What is blockchain? Hello, my name is Louis Procopio and welcome to the What is Blockchain episode here on the Akeo Tech Channel. Here at Akeo, we're very interested in what's known as disruptive and emerging technologies and what role they're playing in today's business world. A disruptive technology lacks refinement. It's a new technology. Usually there are tons of performance issues. It's only appealing to a small number of people and often it's difficult to know and understand what the practical applications are or will be. I wanna give you some quick examples of what once upon a time were disruptive technologies. The telephone, the PC, the internet, email, mobile phones, laptops, smartphones, cloud computing, and social networking like Facebook. You wouldn't really consider these technologies disruptive in today's day and age, now would you? Blockchain technology. Is it perfect and can it be used to solve all our problems? No, but it's definitely disruptive and not the easiest concept to understand. So today I'll explain in simple terms what it is. I'm willing to bet you've already heard of Bitcoin. Bitcoin and blockchain go hand in hand, but I believe this helps fuel the hype, the confusion, and the skepticism surrounding blockchain. I think it's important to understand, although you may have heard of the Bitcoin blockchain, Bitcoin is a digital currency and blockchain is the underlying technology that allows Bitcoin to work the way it does. But no more Bitcoin talk, let's get into the tech talk. What is a blockchain and how does it work? A blockchain is essentially a distributed secure database. The block refers to a collection of time stamped data and the chain refers to a link of time stamped blocks. Hence the name blockchain. You can view it, you can add to it, but you can't change it, you can't manipulate it, and you can't delete it. But we'll get to that in a minute. No one person or entity controls this database. Instead, it's distributed among what are called nodes. Nodes are essentially a live copy of the blockchain sitting on a computer that's connected to the network. A blockchain is distributed among hundreds, thousands, or potentially millions of nodes. Now there's a few things that'll make a blockchain secure. Because it's distributed or decentralized, there's no single point of failure. You can't hack every node at once. These are computers placed all over the world and it's just not feasible. Next on the list of things that is keeping a blockchain secure is something called hashing. Blockchain technology uses cryptographic algorithms to chronologically link, approve, verify, and record all the data that goes onto a blockchain. So if someone wants to go back and manipulate or delete some of that data, then something called network consensus will stop that from happening. If a hacker tampers with one of the many live copies of the blockchain, other nodes in the network will see this and they'll deny this change as being valid. Cryptography, hashing, consensus, and decentralization all work together to make blockchain what it is. So on a very basic level, you now understand what a blockchain is and how it works. It's a database, it's distributed, and it's tamper-proof. If you're interested in learning more about how blockchain is used and what problems businesses are trying to solve today, then head on over to akeo.tech and download our free blockchain guide for business professionals. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video. Go ahead and tap on that thumbs up button and I'd love to hear from you. Comment below to say hi or let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week when we go over the differences between a permission 
and permissionless blockchain. Bye-bye.